Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from cinemasound.com. Today we're going to be looking at another example of compare and contrast between Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, DaVinci Resolve, specifically on the Fairlight page and how it relates to multi-band compressors between the two. Let's roll. All right, y'all, we're doing something we probably shouldn't be doing, and that's having Premiere and DaVinci Resolve on at the same time. Don't do that unless you've got a massive video card, which fortunately we have. Let's take a look at multi-band compressors, which are so amazing and the kind of the quickest way to get the sound good button. Let's take a look at DaVinci Resolve. We have to go to, we wanna make sure that it's EQ Dynamics and effects after the EQ and Dynamics for your order. Uh, of, of effects. We're going to go plus dynamics, fairlight, multiband compressor. Look at this bad boy. Multiband compressor allows us to have four compressors that are linked to a specific frequency. And for dialogue, because we're going to roll off low, low frequencies that are inhuman, we're going to want to do low frequencies, about 200 hertz or so. We're going to want to go up to about, a, I don't know, somewhere in the 1K zone to get that honk noise. And then we're going to want to keep the sibilance above 5.5K on this, and then the medium, rare, raw, whatever, uh, we get those in the middle. One of the things that I love about this plugin is that it's got a specific limit that you can tell it to go to and not any further. Unfortunately, we never really use it, but it's nice to have. I always just run it up to the full 15 decibels. It's usually a pain because you can't actually gang them together. You have to do one at a time, but that's a problem. Anyway, let's take a listen to this audio. And before I get any further, uh, in fact, we'll turn this off. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone via lightning on my iPhone. And it should sound quite a bit better uh, than the regular microphone that we were using on the phone itself. Now you can see it already kind of trying to work. We have a, a threshold here. We'll bring these thresholds down to about 35 decibels. Now unlike in some Resolve plugins, you can double click and get numbers here, but it's kind of wonky, but it's a lot better than dragging these silly knobs around, which are so painful. All right, there's that. We, can, we also have individual gain, which is cool. Let's make the ratio pretty strong, like a seven. Notice this only goes to seven. Uh, they, we're going to make the attack pretty reasonable, like maybe a 25 millisecond. We're going to make the... Notice also the release only goes to 50 milliseconds, and the attack only goes to 0.1, which is a big problem for us in post because we want to be able to go to zero and be able to have zero release um, definitely, uh, 50, we'll leave it at 50. Again, these are ungangable, which means you got to sit there and do this for every one of these, which is a real time burner, something that kind of really chaps me. You can kind of get that idea. Actually for sibilance, we're going to make this sharper and run this down to 50. Now let's see what we got. Oh, maybe we should turn it back on. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone via lightning on my iPhone. And it should sound quite a bit better. We can turn the sibilance down a little bit more, maybe down. Notice this only goes to 40 decibels. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone. And maybe we'll bring up the threshold on the lows because we like to hear the low in the voice. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone via lightning on my iPhone. And it should sound quite a bit better uh, than the regular microphone that we were using on the phone itself. And this is without? Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone. It's subtle, but it's definitely there how it's doing a beautiful contour and sharpening. And the Fairlight plugin definitely has that beautiful Fairlight algorithm, which is very seamless, beautiful, beautiful. But the functionality of this is a pain and we have a great deal of limiting, limits, not limiting, limits in what we can do. A seven to one ratio is nowhere near what we're gonna be needing. Let's check out the Premiere version. Same thing, we're gonna go over here to the alt tr audio track mixer. We're going to go to compression, multi-band compressor, same thing. Unfortunately, in Premiere, we have to double-click plugins to open them up instead of them opening up normally. This is um, some, this is a plugin I'm very, very familiar with. Let's just make these all the same. So that's 221, again, I can double-click. 221, 1095, 57, 1090, and 5707, just to be cool. Uh, and then the thresholds here are about 35. Now I can link band controls and drop this right down to minus 60 if I want, or the minus 35. Remember that DaVinci only lets you get to minus 40. I can make this ratio 30 to one if I want, but let's make it the seven that's there, all ganged together. The attacks are generally 25. I can double click this, hit 25. The releases are generally, or they actually all are 50. 
and we unlink and we make this the 12 millisecond for the high frequencies. And then uh, let's see, uh, the gain is at three. That's three. Let's see how we do. The phone that we were using on the phone itself. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone by... Notice you have attenuation on this plugin, which is also cool. A uh, frequency spectrum analysis that you can see how things are doing, which is way better than this. By uh, lightning on my... Now here I'm using a... Let's turn it on, actually. Let's do that. Now... Ah! Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that... Let's go back here. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone via light. They're very, very similar sounding, very, very similar sounding. But because this has so much more capabilities, we'll run this up to maybe 11 to one and try this out now. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone. In fact, did I get, oh no, this threshold's lower. Sorry, y'all. We pulled this threshold up to give it a little more lows via lightning on my iPhone. And it should sound quite a bit better uh, than the regular microphone that we were using on the phone itself. And in fact, we can link these controls and make that make it even shorter. And again, because this will go to zero, we can actually do that attack haircut. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my- Just all transients cut off at the knees, or we can make it even punchier by slowing down the attack and maybe even the release, because here the release goes below 50. iPhone via lightning on my iPhone, and it should sound quite a bit better uh, than the regular microphone that we were using on the phone itself. Better, better, phone itself, very, very punchy. Whereas over here, it's Plugs very right subtle. My phone via lightning. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone via lightning on my iPhone. But because it's limited in its ratio, limited in its release, limited in its attack, and if I wanna see, hey, what does this sound like? I gotta go and do this to every four of them if I wanna have it haircut. Now here I'm using a lavalier from Ceramonic that plugs right into my phone via- And you can hear it's doing a good job, but it's still not giving you the full haircut because that's a 10th of a, Tenth of a second, 100 milliseconds is a very, sorry, 100 microseconds, my mistake. 100 microseconds is still not exactly perfect attack limiting. And we're going to need to have that if we have something that's a little too transient in our dialogue. So to me, the big winner here in multiband compressor is Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, look, I like the multiband compressor in the, in the Fairlight page. I think it's really, really great, but it's incredibly limited and very difficult to use. The Adobe Premiere one is perhaps one of the best sounding multiband compressors I've ever heard. Super easy to use. You can instantiate a bunch of them at the same time and very low CPU usage. For me, I would much rather be using the Premiere Pro one than the DaVinci Resolve Fairlight page one. If you've liked this video, hopefully, you'll subscribe to us here at the YouTube channel uh, where we have hundreds of other videos to show you everything you need to know to get that powerful Hollywood level immersive experience for your audience without having to make your budget any bigger. And definitely come join us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds of articles that give you the same thing, but in a lot more detail. Hopefully we'll see you there. And if not, we'll see you in post. Even if you're for yourself.